Connor, you're back in a Northern Ireland semi final trying to take down my uh, home parish. <laughs> you're delighted to be back here again. Yeah, look at it's a I suppose start of the year going back. We had a disappointing Paddy's Day last year and or early on in the year. So um yeah, we said going back, um we kinda approach the goal championship one game at a time and we said it'd be a great car to dangle to try and do back to back there. So um look at it's put us in a position where we're in an All-Ireland semi-final now against a very good Boris Lee team, so um, yeah, looking forward to the challenge. What do you think happened on Paddy's Day against um, Ballyhale? Is it just that they're an unbelievable team, or do you feel you didn't quite get what you needed out of yourself? Yeah, look, it was disappointing. Um, can't sit here and make excuses and won't. Um, they were a very strong team. They totally out us so far on the day. Um, I suppose we had a couple of knocks that didn't help, but um, no, they were, the, they were the better team, and they deserved to win, yeah. And like if you rewind it even back to the semi final you had against Ballier, was that maybe three years ago now at this stage? Is it a case you want to sort of put things right now? It didn't go right against Ballyhale and the same against Ballier. Yeah, I, I suppose if you're thinking about those things, you're you're doing yourself a disservice. Um, I think the best way to approach it is kind of whatever, put the bad days in the past and try and learn from them. But uh, if you're too focused, I always feel on trying to put things right as people might view them or whatever, you're. Um, you're only scuppering yourself because you're putting yourself under pressure. So, um, as I said, look, we're taking it one game at a time and we have a big challenge now against uh, Boris Lee, so we're looking forward to it. Probably feels like a long while ago now since he beat Mellows in the final, one thirteen to 14 Tight game, Finton Burke made his comeback and got got a few points in um, from full forward, I think. But what was it, What was that final like? Because it seemed like it was you know, obviously a tight fair, one thirteen to 14 yeah, look, it was a it was a tough game. It was the second year in a row we were playing Mellows in a final, so um, they they brought a big challenge. And um, look, we came out the right side, as you said. Finton came on; he came back from a bad injury, and uh, he was he was very important to us on the day. He got some got a couple of great scores, and um, I suppose it kind of threw something at Mellows that maybe they weren't expecting. So um, yeah, look, at he was he was very important. But uh, look, at I think we were we were we were very solid throughout, and. Um, we kind of gone. We were quite enough in the first half, and we kind of got a hold at the start of the second half, and we never really let it up. And um, luckily, we came out the right side of it. What, what are you expecting from Bursley? Uh, look, they're a fantastic team. We've seen. Um, I suppose we're lucky enough. We've seen the coverage that they've got um, in Tipperary and in in Munster. Um, so we have some tape to look at them, and we've seen them in action as well. So I suppose we're expecting a we're expecting a good hurling team that'll battle hard for Everton and I suppose they have some fantastic leaders and players there as well so um, look we're just expecting a massive challenge and Davy Burke he was away doing a small bit of travelling I'm sure he's back and flying is he? Oh, he's back and he's he's never he's never run fit he's as fit as a fiddle so um, no he's 100% yeah and and how big is it for for the club to have ye coming back like do people expect ye to come back and lead it like yourself and Davy when you come back from Galway? Uh, I I don't know what expectation is there, but I suppose coming back in myself, I'd always try and, I suppose, just give give a hundred percent and um, try and drive lads on. But look, at there's more than there's more than lads there with Galway. There, there's some fantastic lads who are constantly putting their shoulders to the wheel and driving lads on, and I suppose tipping away with whether it's gym work or or collective sessions, whatever it'll be. So um, no, we're, we're very fortunate. There's a good group there. Uh, TJ Ryan is involved with you as well, isn't he? The former Limerick manager. He is. Yeah, look at TJ's been great for us he's he's such an enthusiastic man for hurling it's infectious so um yeah look at his he's been brilliant he's a great head for it as well he's been around the block now and mm. been involved with multiple teams and uh yeah as i said just his his energy and his drive is it's it's great to have around yeah and i presume you you'd have come up against johnny kelly teams many times now you know obviously being a port humna native yeah look at um johnny kelly's been around the uh, the scene there for a good few years now. We know he's a shrewd man and a, a good operator. So, uh, uh, look at he'll have his homework done on us, and he'll know what um, what we'll bring. So, um, look at that's a it's another challenge for us. We can't really do anything about it, but uh, yeah, we know there are good lads there with him as well. So, um, look, we know we'll have a big test in our hands. So, uh, just looking forward to it. Yeah. So, in your parish, is it hurling, and, and is is that basically what the whole, whole parish is built around? Uh, yeah, I suppose there's there's the two schools and there's a, a couple of pubs, but yeah, that's the church. The, there's the churches as well, and that's really it. But I suppose yeah, those would be the main gathering points for people to bring people together. So um, yeah, there's there's no football, I suppose, and it's uh, I suppose it'd be if there's ever a conversation around the table, hurling will come up at some stage. Yeah. 
what about Galway? In tw- I'll come to the Galway 2020, but Galway in 2019 didn't quite happen for you. Where do you think it went wrong? Um, yeah, I suppose it's hard to pinpoint it exactly. Um, probably had a few chances to maybe put up a higher score difference and we didn't take them. And I suppose we we just found ourselves in an awkward position going up for final fixture against Dublin was a was always going to be a tough one. So it wasn't ideal. Um, going up to Parnell Park is always difficult. So um, look, at, that's that's just sport and that's the way it works out. Um, I suppose with the, the lads stepping away, it was very disappointing at the end of the year. But um, look, at there are new guys in there. So um, I suppose it's just full steam ahead and looking forward to the to the new year once I suppose we're focused fully on the club at the minute but looking forward to getting back involved there as well yeah. Was it frustrating that you know it was just a puck of a ball in it really if if there's a different result maybe even in Wexford Park or if you get another score or two against Dublin things could have been so different Yeah exactly but those are the margins that are there I suppose um, you're, you're looking at the value of draws and you know, even eking out a point whatever it might be and then it comes down to score difference the value of a single point in the game is huge as you say so um, look, I think it made for a, a probably fewer uh, spectator. It made for great view and it was very competitive. But um, yeah, it was a bit surreal being knocked out um, that early in the year. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a bit mad. Yeah. Do you think uh, too much is made of the fact that people said other players didn't step up when Joe got injured? Um, yeah, look, Joe was a big loss for us. He's a he's a fantastic player, big leader for us as well. So. Um, Look, without without doubt, he was a he was a big loss. But um, yeah, I don't know if people will say what they will. But um, yeah, it was a fantastic team there. But I suppose it was the team as a whole that didn't get through, and that's the way it worked out. Mm. Shane O'Neill has had success with Napierschik. Did you know much about him before he was appointed? Um, I wouldn't have known an awful lot about him. I know he was involved with Napierschik, um, when they were successful a few years ago, and involved with uh, Nina as well so um, yeah just kind of bits and pieces but um, yeah by I suppose we've been in and met them a couple of times and by all accounts the train is going very well and um, yeah just looking forward to getting back involved when the club is over. What I've heard is he's a players man a very organised man is, is that the feeling you're getting from him? Absolutely yeah um, comes across very organised very together so um, yeah looking forward to getting back in there. And a final word then on Michal Donoghue what would he have done for you over the course of those that four or five years that he was there? Yeah, look when when Mihal came in, the, he was he was brilliant. He was he was brilliant for the players. He'd always he'd always back us and do his absolute best for us. So um, I suppose the setup he put in place as well, the lads he had around him were it was it was it was brilliant. So um, look at their they're a massive loss, um, but uh, I suppose the lads are there now and we have to get back involved and just look forward to the future and do what we can, yeah. Feels like it's probably just going to be a puck of a ball next year. Do you know, you've seen Tip didn't get out of Munster, then they win it the next year. You didn't get out of Leinster last year, but I could very well see you winning it again this uh, this coming year. Is that how it feels when you're in, when you're involved? I suppose when you're involved, you feel like, you always feel like you have a chance to win. So, um, yeah, look, at, we'll, it'll be very competitive again. Um, as you said, there's nothing between the teams. I suppose a few years ago it was... There was maybe a, maybe teams would have been very dominant, but uh, it's certainly not like that anymore. The whole landscape has kind of changed, and you, you'd be hard pressed to pick a team, and uh, that would definitely, well, very likely win it. But um, yeah, no, it's it's going to be competitive, and I suppose that's the best way for it to be. Is it exciting actually when you're in the ticket at and there's like four games in five weeks? Uh, yeah, very exciting. I I mean. I suppose it's demanding in ways, but I, I personally be of the view I prefer to be playing games rather than training for weeks on end and looking forward to a match and maybe you get a knock and you're out. Um, I suppose if you're if you're going to get injured, you're as well off getting injured in a match mm-hmm. rather than doing something in training. So um, yeah, no, I'd I definitely like to set up in a minute. Thanks very much. I'd like to say best of luck in the All Ireland semi final, but you'll understand that I don't. <laughs> you're all right. <laughs> Cheers, Frank.